day without a break, so my brain is pretty barbecued. Yeah, that'd do it. <laughs> I changed. I I put built a keyboard mount for my right side so that uh um because I needed it for BMS. And uh, it sits up a little bit high so that my joystick doesn't interfere with it. And I just leaned over to look at my light panel on the right side and bash my head against the keyboard. Nice. Ouch. <laughs> Okay, so we're loaded up and ready to go already? We are. You guys want to do a quick brief? Yeah, hold on. I need to get my sure. bird started and I need to... Um, well, I have to brief before we start. Although, since uh, we're in, we'll have to... I'll be in to have the F10 map up. Oh, you are absolutely correct about the flashlight, by the way. Oh, it's just beautiful. Yeah. Everything's working. Oh, God. Remember how miserable the flashlight was before? Yeah, it was useless. I mean, you could it would it would illuminate the switch enough could tell there was a switch there. Um, so if you look at the uh, Keshem Island, which is that big island um, on the coast of Iran to the north there, you can see the uh, the target area. There's an SA six site off to the northeast of the target area. So we'll have to take that out first. And then over here at this little port by that small town on the most southern tip of Kesham Island, we've got a bunch of trucks. Um, there's an SA-8 and a Shilka and a few ZU-23s. And then we've got a main battle tank and a BTR and the rest of it's just trucks. And then this ship here, there's a ship off the port. Um, the cargo that ship, ship is the... Yeah, that's the only thing that we need the Mark 83s for. So if you want to switch out your bombs for something else, feel free, rockets, whatever. Um, I'll, I'll keep the 83s if someone else wants to carry Zunis. I'll take Zunis. I like Zunis. So what's the primary target? Uh, the primary target is all of it. Okay. Let's say it's the ship. Yeah, I was going to say the goal is to kill the ship, and then, any, and then the ship, and then the... Armor around here bonus. is incidental to destroying the ship. So that SA-6, I'm not even seeing a range ring on that SA-6. Uh, click on it. They've updated something. But that's only, it only shows the engagement. That's the engagement ring that it shows if you click on it. Yeah, it's not showing me. It's showing uh, me the SA-8 one, but not the SA-6 one. <laughs> Weird. Yeah, I'm not seeing it either. Uh, click on one of the launchers, actually. When I click on the radar, it doesn't show. I got a launcher highlighted. Weird. Yeah, so do I. Oh, there I it is. It. Okay, I see the ring. Uh, I just didn't zoom out far enough. So our flight plan is we fly directly over Dubai, straight to the uh, Kashab Takan. And then straight over the island, or straight over to uh, um, Kesham. Our IP, I believe, is... Where's my waypoints? If you uh, highlight yourself, you should be able to see your waypoints. Um, and that'll show you where the IP is. It's over a little town um, on the southwest side of the, uh, yeah. the little island off, to, off of Kesham. A town that has no name. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, which I think is CQ. Well, I don't eight, know. Yeah, CQ eight four. That's uh, steer point two. Two. Yep. So steer point one is uh, Kashab, then steer point two is the IP. Our tanker track. You can see him buzzing around there to the south of Oman. And there's a Tarawa down here, off the coast of. Uh, Fujara International. Yeah, um, I see her. All, She's way down all of the, the air bases south. All of the air bases that are not in Iran are blue, so we can really go anywhere. Um, 
but everything in Iran is red. But the only units are uh, okay. there on Kesham. So, um, yeah, that SA-6 we're going to have to take out. So that's kind of the number one priority are the two launchers. Is that correct? I mean, to, to clear the way for us to go in and kill the ship. So, so the SA-6 yes. has to go. The SA-8 has to go. Yeah. The uh, Shilka, I need to we back can... Out. You say you have to back the out? Shilka and the ZU-23s. Yeah, I have to go and reprogram my goddamn flight stick again, because that's my life. It's just fucking with settings on DCS so that I can spend five minutes flying after two hours of putzing. Sorry, I've just had it with the weird, quirky ass shit. Me too. That's why we uh, have been flying BMS. Oh, there's some quirky ass shit there too. But at least when it's in the air, when it works, it works. Yeah, once it's working, it that's it. No. Ooh, that position switch. It's just yeah. frustrating. I'm, it's like, how much money have we all spent this game at this point? And like, everything is. Bad. Can't say it out loud. <laughs> I don't even want to know. At least a thousand bucks at this point between hardware and granted the hardware I'll work with other pieces of software, but just Ah, it's so frustrating. If you took the delta of what I would have bought if it wasn't for DC DCS from a computer hardware standpoint, then I'm well over a thousand bucks. Credit where credit to do it loads a lot. I got two nine nine one for the altimeter. And I'm at two nine nine zero, but yours is probably more accurate. So I'm just sitting here on APU until we're all ready to go. Same. Sounds like you are too. Can't wait till we get a pilot in here. So, by the way, I did get the recording working, so we are working. Yeah, I'm recording too. I don't know how the resolution will be because I uh, shut off my second monitor after launching this, but... Which tech end do you have? Do you have the outbound leg or the inbound leg? I'll program whichever one you don't have. Um, I haven't put anything in yet. Okay, I'll put nine six, and then you can put uh eight four I that way. Eight four, yeah. I'll get nine six on the outbound leg. Is that right? We're carrying four Mark 83s, two LMAVs, and two set arms. Okay. Yep, and it should be a TGP, too. If <laughs> yeah. Not. yeah, there's a T-Pod. Okay. <laughs> and if uh, not, then those MAVs are worthless. And we're going to have to take gas going or coming? Um, either way, I think we, if, if we fly out low, we'll have, probably have to get it on the way out. Yeah. And I think we should fly out low. <laughs> Okay. Purposes, oh yeah. No, purposes. we can. So let's set a three thousand pound bingo. Yeah. Okay. By low, are you talking fifteen thousand or are you talking eight thousand? I was talking like three thousand. Okay. Buzz over the city in the dark here. Okay, and we'll just keep her. Um, keep... Holy shit. That Turn, light yeah. is so bright. Turn off your anti-collision. It's bugged. Oh, are you firing up, Apollo? Yeah, he's yeah. in. 
Yeah, the anti-collision gotcha. looks great from outside, but it's shining from inside the jet, which is a problem. Yeah, no people kidding. Are, it's not the entire cockpit. <clears throat> people are like, oh, it's realistic. I'm like, no, it's not. Plus, when you see the light shining from out of your intake, that gives you an idea how the light's working. It's a texturing. Yeah. It, and, it, uh, it, it, it's, yeah, they'll fix it. But it looks wonderful. What's funny to me is that BCS said it was a bug in the update log. <laughs> yeah, and then no one knows. Were, ecstatic about how awesome it is i'm like that's not awesome <laughs> okay um hey, i guess we're you turn yours on real quick just so i can kind of see it sure stand by oh it does look so good from the exterior though hey can you see my flashlight oh, yeah, no, on the it's cockpit a, uh... on the canopy nope well, okay are we um are we ready to start engines yep let's go ahead and fire up Okay, and you said, uh, what was bingo? Bingo is 3,000, altimeter is 2, 9, or 9, or 1. What's our weight? Uh, like 29. So we're fat. Okay. Twenty nine three. And one's ready taxi. Okay, you said you wanted me to switch to Zunis. If you want to. I was just saying you can really carry whatever you want for bombs as long as one of us has Mark 83s. I'm keeping the Mark 83s just for the big boom effect. Yeah, I am too. Because we don't really need... a huge explosion. Yeah, okay. No gun up to the trucks? Yeah, we don't need guns. Well, if everyone else is going to carry 83s, I'll carry some Zuni. I also oh, I wanted to check out the uh, new, because there's new CCRP symbology, too. Woohoo! 2,000 pounds lighter. Okay, what was the tech hand you wanted me to tune into? Uh, uh, you don't need to worry about the tech hand, we got it. I mean, you can if you want. Go ahead and tune 84 X ray. Yeah, I got the outbound leg. Uh, so. That, uh, air or ground? Ground. Ground. Okay, I think I am golden. Okay, 39 is our outbound on course. 039er. For 147 nautical miles. But we also have nav, so we're good. Actually, it's showing 38. Okay, I'm good. So, uh, Apollo, you want to be two or you want me to be two? Whatever works for you, brother. Makes me no never mind. Uh, fine, I'll take two. Okay, I'll be three. All right, let's roll out. It's weird the way the uh, seams and the concrete light up with the uh, night vision on the nav.
Yeah, and I got night NVGs are looking good. Night uh, Fleer's looking okay. See if we can uh, put the night in the night attack. And we'll do a 55 degree nozzle, 90 knot takeoff. Stall okay. flaps. Dry. I think I'm set for 50. Shit, is that my hold short line there? It was. Check out the desert vegetation in that moonlight and the sand. Oh my god. Woody! Yeah. That's looking pretty beautiful. That's gorgeous. Ah, here's my hold short line. Yeah, this one, I can't, I don't see a sign might be an ILS hold short line. But it's not placarded, but that's probably what it's for. And we'll take off 1,000 feet runway heading, which is uh, looks like about 310 um, for the rejoin right echelon. And then uh, we'll climb to three or five. Let's do 3,000 feet and uh, cruise over Dubai direct uh, waypoint one. 1,000 feet what? at 310 uh, right echelon. Then miss anything. And one's good jet. Nope, that's it. Two's good, Jed. And three's good. And we've even got center line lights here. Yeah. Fancy. I, I can see the runway lights too. <laughs> well, with the uh, the weight we saved, I can I can carry a gun. Oh, this, this runway looks so good with lights. ATC is not able to clear us, taxi. I wonder why. Look at the sun beginning to rise at our uh, 10 o'clock. Yep. He's in position. Yep. Three. Yep. Good to go. All right. It's pulling up. Two second interval. Breaks off. That works. Remember, Will, you're lighter than I am. Yeah. Apparently 90 was a little slow. Was fine for me. Man, your smoke trail looks so good and clear. I'm going to overtake and you. I to clarify the uh, departure brief. We're 20,000 feet of radar. Landing gear. Landing gear. I think you overshot it. And I've blown my altitude, obviously. Yep. 300 knots. Yeah, I'm 310 and 1400 correcting. It's pretty out. Sure is. That moonlight coming off the water. That street lights. Three's blind. I don't see you guys anymore. I've got yeah, you. Uh, go ahead either. and. Uh, okay, I got someone. It's a. Uh, okay, I got you. I got you all. I got you all. 
Two's coming up. I got I got two and one in sight. I don't see one. One's at about uh, your your uh, eleven o'clock, ten o'clock. You're gonna overrun them here soon. If you haven't already. Who who is overrun? <laughs> is that you, Apollo? That's Apollo. I I think okay. so. I I never even. Yeah, saw you're it. overrun. Oh, I see you. All right, I'm down to two ninety. Go ahead and uh, stay below a thousand feet and uh, throttle back. We'll pass you. And three, we'll step it up to three twenty. Two eighty at nine fifty. Coming up on your uh, three o'clock or nine o'clock. What speed are you going for? I'm uh, at three thirty. You see me? Yep. Coming up to speed. Those buildings are lit up like discos. Yeah. Don't forget to call saddled too when you're in position. Yeah, I'm saddled. You should see me in good position. Yeah? Yep, and three is saddled. All right. Um, go ahead and make our right turn here. Uh, check right 90. Boy, you just got and awfully we're going to accelerate dark. to 350 and start our climb to uh, 3,000 feet. Yeah, it did. The old ocean for you. And two is sucked. Yeah, I'm having trouble seeing. And I obviously blew my altitude again, so we're going to five. Yeah, no, this is no small feat at night with being pitch black. Should be sunrise soon, but I haven't seen the signs of it yet. There were a little sun on the horizon before we left the airbase, but... And rolling out at small. 050. And the night vision function and maintaining already 360. limited depth perception. You said 350 or 360? 360. You guys still climbing? No, we're a little above 554. Yeah, it was that switch to barometric altitude. 
I'm gonna check right 15 degrees. Okay, backing off. You're clear. So you're shooting for 065. Three is over, run two. I don't have a local time clock, but uh, I'm pretty sure my sunrise calendar was wrong. That never happens in DCS. Yeah, welcome to the Persian Gulf, uh, Apollo. It's all black. Sorry. That's all right. Reminds me of my heart. What we uh, can, uh, speed? Three six zero. If you want, it's not too late. We could uh, start again in the day. So you you, you didn't check the uh, the sunrise time? No, I meant to, but then ended up having to go to the store. Yeah, it's usually off by hours. The moon was exactly where it was supposed to be, though. It's a trick. It's also possible that I looked at the wrong date or something because it doesn't. It didn't seem right that October seventeenth would have a sunrise of uh, five forty. No. Well, what do you guys think? I'm down I'm for either. For whatever. That said, I mean, I'd love to look at this map. Yeah, let's start in the daytime. That way we can, uh, you know, we can yep. give a give a nice show. Agreed. Sorry, gents. No big deal, brother. <laughs> 